Hi, good morning. So this morning um, I'm making some eggplant pepper. These are the eggplant that I picked um, from my parents' garden um, last weekend. We're gonna sh I'm going to show you how I make my eggplant pepper. So what I did already was I peeled my eggplant and I washed it and I put them into my steamer. Um, they're just about ready, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out my eggplant so that I can start smashing it up to make some pepper. They look like this. They look beautiful. I'm just going to pull them out so that they cool down for a bit before I start smashing them. We're going to go ahead and prepare the chili, okay? So what I have here is um, my chicky. And then these are the fresh pepper that I picked from my dad's garden. So um, I don't like my um, eggplant pepper to be too spicy. So we're just going to go ahead and use two of these uh, big chilies. I've already washed these chilies. Um, let's just throw in another one just for extra flavor. Maybe just one green chili, okay? So we have that in here. What I'm going to add to my chili paste in order, uh, what I'm going to add into here in order for my chili to start sm um, to be smashed up, is um, some salt. So I'm going to put about that much salt and then um, MSG. We're going to put about that much MSG. I know you guys think that's a lot, but it's not a lot. I am, it's actually really good with that much MSG, okay? So why don't you come in and take a look at this? Why don't, we, why don't you record me smashing? See how easily that smashes with the salt and MSG? You want it to look like this. Without salt, MSG, your 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 chili or your pepper cannot look this cannot get this fine. Okay. All right. So before I add my eggplant, um, I've already cut up some uh, cilantro. I normally put um, green onions, but because um, I'm not feeling very well, um, I'm just gonna just put cilantro for this video but if you like green onions or if you're not sick then go ahead and um, put some cilantro green onions in it and it, it tastes really good so I cut these up very fine because it's gonna go um, into it's good it's gonna it's gonna taste really good very fine I don't like it I don't like my um, cilantro in my pepper to be very thick Okay, so we're just going to smash this a little bit, bruise it up a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And then um, it's in, in goes my eggplant. So I did four eggplants, okay? I like to peel it beforehand because um, when you peel it afterwards, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's, it's really hard to peel it while it's hot and um, I like to peel it in advance. It just makes making um, pepper, eggplant pepper that much easier, okay? It is coming together beautifully. Give it a good smash so we want to make sure it, everything breaks apart. And it's only about 9 o'clock, and I like to have this any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So today we're going to have eggplant pepper for breakfast with some sticky rice. There, it looks wonderful. We're going to go ahead and, we're just going to pour it back into the plate that I used for my cilantro. That way you don't have to wash a lot of dishes, and it's, it's, it's very clean, you know. All right, there you have it. We have our eggplant pepper, and I'm just gonna taste it just to let you guys know how delicious it is. It's still very hot. I can see a lot of steam coming out. 
All right, here goes nothing. Mmm, that is so good. I could just eat this with rice, on top of rice. It's delicious. We're gonna go ahead and take another, take another bite and then I have to set it to the side and get my other dishes ready. But thank you for watching and we will see you on my next adventure, okay? Mmm.